Okay. Today I have an SAT writing tip for you that deals with the uses of dashes and also being efficient in word choice and having good diction. So with that, let's go ahead and get into this tip. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. This comes from SAT Practice Test 8. It's going to be question 29. So let's take a look at it. If we read our sentence, we have champions of court reporting though. Are you the opposite? Right? And then we see we have they are you, which is obviously an immediate red flag to me because I know I just said champions of court reporting, which is they. And I say are you right here. So saying they are you again is obviously something I want to get rid of because that's wordy. So immediately I see that as a red flag. I look at my question. I see I have which choice most effectively combines the sentence as at the underlined portion. So obviously I want to get rid of they are you. So I don't want to have that. I see I have their opinion. Once again, that's really similar to their are to they are you. That's really repetitive, redundant. I don't want to use that. It's too wordy. So I can go ahead and get rid of D. I look at C. I have which is. Once again, kind of wordy. So I'm going to put a dash by it because I obviously don't want to use it because it already appears wordy, but I'll look at A and B, make sure they're grammatically correct. And if they are, I can go ahead and eliminate C for being wordy. So let's take a look at it. So we got champions of court reporting though. Are you the opposite? Well, what is the opposite? It's that with increased reliance on technology, errors actually increase. So I see I don't even need they are you. I also don't need which is. So I see that that will for sure be wordy and there's definitely a more efficient way to say it. So I don't want to use C. C is obviously going to be wrong. Next, I look at A and I look at B. I see in B, I use a dash after the word opposite, and then I say exactly what it is explaining, right? Champions of court reporting, though, are you the opposite. Now I'm going to explain what that opposite is. That with the increased reliance on technology, errors actually increase. Okay, so that in that case, I'd be using a M dash and then providing an explanatory relationship, which is perfectly grammatically correct, so I know B will be my correct answer. If I look at A, I can show you why A is wrong as well. If I look at the word such, the word such is telling me that there should be an example following it. So if I have champions of court reporting, though, are you the opposite, comma, such that with the increased reliance on technology, errors actually increase. When I have the word such, it would be looking for an example after that, and I don't really have an example after that, so I know A would be wrong. Okay. If you see that you have something like this, where you have a sentence that is, uh, for in this example, obviously indicating that something is the opposite, right after that, we would want to use an M dash and say what that opposite is, right? We'd be looking to explain what the opposite is in the fewest words possible, since we already said that it's the opposite. So you could go ahead and infer um, what it's going to be because it says that it's the opposite. Obviously, you'd need the context from the paragraph above it. Um, I'm not going to go get that right now because I'll try to keep this video short and brief, but you would be able to know what it is. You would see M dash, the most efficient way to do it. You want to avoid these two wordy options in C and in D, so you can get rid of those. You'd see you have such. You see that there's no example after it. No example, so you would want to get rid of A. Obviously, the most efficient way to do this then is with the M dash. B is correct. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and as always, have a great day.